What's going on, you guys? Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with another figure review. And before I get on to today's figure review, I want to just give a little tiny apology in my last video, which was the unexpected box day. Um, the lighting was not very good. You really couldn't see too much of what was there. I do apologize for that. It was a long day working. I really didn't have time to uh, set up my normal setup so you guys could, uh, you know, with more lighting and stuff. So I apologize for that. So, um, anyway, enough about that. Let's get on to today's review. Today is a giant figure, and today we are going to be reviewing the X Plus, or not X Plus, bleh, <laughs> the SH Monster Arts by Alante. Sorry, I have X Plus on the mind lately. <laughs> but the SH Monster Arts by Alante. Take a look at the box. Big, giant box. All the way around. Front, back, side. I kind of do miss the other uh, SH Monster Art boxes. Not the, not necessarily the windows, but like the side here. And then I kind of miss like the shiny lettering that they gave, you know, for the figure in, you know, Japanese and English. I kind of miss that. That's about the only thing, though. So uh, there's the box. Get the box out of the way. Now let's move on to the figure itself. Here is the SH Monster Arts by Lante. This is a very huge figure. I hope she's getting in the entire camera shot. She's more wide than she is tall with the width and everything. But um, a great figure, uh, you know, great detail, articulation all the way around. Um, I have not had a chance to go to the store and pick up the batteries that she uses for her little light gimmick in her uh, chest core. But I, I do apologize for that. I just haven't, a ha haven't had the chance to go to the store yet and pick those up. There's a little tiny circular um, cell batteries, so um, I haven't had a chance to pick any of those up, and it's I don't use I don't use those in a lot of things that I have, so I don't have any laying around. <laughs> but um, I mean, she does have the light up gimmick in her chest, where it will light up orange, and then another one to where it's more of a deeper red color. So um, that's all I can go into explaining on the light gimmick. You want to see the light gimmick, check out Diego Doom's review. He does an awesome review of SH Monster Arts by Alante. But let's get straight on to it with, you know, detail and paint job. She is a very nice green with, uh, you know, very pink, even inside the small little tentacle mouths, a very nice pink. Hopefully that's getting in the camera shot. And then, you know, teeth are all white. The tusks are very nicely, um, not white, white. But uh, they're white and then kind of fade into a black when they get closer into the skin. But those are beautifully painted. Um, her eyes are just kind of a white, you know, no pupils. They're just all white in the eyes. And, you know, just green all the way around with these uh, black uh, spikes, you know, kind of on her legs here and then on the sides of her body. She has these black spikes or thorns, I should say, since she's a plant. But, uh, I mean, just very nice detail and paint job all the way around. Her chest core is very nicely detailed with, you know, swirls and stuff like that. And, you know, it's a very nice orange color just to look at it. And just a, you know, flat base on the bottom, you know, where the switch is and everything for the light gimmick. You know, she has all the teeth on the roof of the mouth and on the bottom of her mouth. Just very nice detail and paint job all the way around. Let's move on to articulation, which, of course, there's a lot. Uh, the vines, you really can't bend the vines like you normally would with, you know, other ball joints. The vines move by, you know, turning the joints. So, I mean, just like swiveling them around at each joint is going to get them to curl up or curl out. So, I mean, each vine you want to move. You can move them kind of up and down, but you move them too far and they're just going to fall off. So, by moving the vines, you just rotate each joint. And then the mouth, of course, you know, has articulation, and each vine has articulation at the mouth, too, as well. And then, of course, ton in her neck. She can look very high up, and then along with this piece coming up to complete that. That way it's just not hanging down here. A lot of people were like, isn't that supposed to be attached? And, of course, it just kind of folds up into that. But she can look very high up, and then she can look, you know, very, you know, far down. And especially with this back piece, the way I have it pushed up, you know, you can push it, um, or I have it pushed uh, down, but you can push it upwards like that, and that even gives her more of a uh, hunch curl. Hopefully that got in the camera shot. Let me try that again. You can do that, and that kind of helps her look more up, and then you can push it forward like that, and that helps her look more down at a hunch. But, uh, you know, very nice point of articulation there. 
And of course, right here at the base, you know, they kind of wiggle each leg. So, I mean, very good articulation all the way around for Biolante. Just mainly in the neck, the back, the vines, the legs, and the mouths. And uh, last on, we'll do sizing. Like I've said before, SH Monster Arts size in perfectly with other SH Monster Arts. Uh, she sizes in perfectly with the Godzilla. No question about it. This is perfect sizing all the way around. And uh, she is not, she's the biggest, uh, she might be the biggest as far as width goes, but as far as height, even with her net, even looking all the way up, King Adora still towers over her, and I think Destroya does too. But she sizes up pretty well with Godzilla. Not a problem. And that about does it, you guys, for this review of SH Monster Arts by Alante. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next figure review. Thank you for watching.